Hello, Musa. How are you doing? And I guess life is treating you fine. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. How about you? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very good as well. And how is the career going in St. Gallen? Yeah, it's been, so, it's been good so far. I'm on it. Yeah. You're playing some more games. Where are you guys on the league table? What's, what's, the, what's the target for the season? So we try to, uh, we are we're in the cup game okay. uh, and uh, we try to win it and also like uh, have a good position on the league table, maybe play in the Europe, Europa League or in the Champions League, hopefully. Yeah. What, what, what is it about, you've been in Switzerland for about three years, uh, what is it about Switzerland you like? Uh, I think... Uh, I like it more here because it's uh, it's really cool. The people are like nice and uh, yeah. Any, any, anything you miss back in Ghana? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> 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 what is it? Is it is it the watch or the king? What, what exactly do you miss though? The food, the food, the people, like you know everything. The family, all that. Yeah. My friends. Yeah, I miss everything. Yeah. So how do you cope? How do you cope when you miss when you miss all these things badly? No, I, I try to get uh, in touch with my family or friends, and you know. Can you have a chat with them? And I, I don't. Sometimes I don't really like uh, let it get to me because I have Ziggy here, and we we are always together, so we talk so much and all that. Yeah, you talk about that, uh, Ati Ziggy, and and then yourself. How is the relationship like and, and how's the feeling knowing that you're two Ghanaians, you know, out there in Switzerland? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, you know, when I first said that he was coming to St. Gallen, I, I was really happy because uh, before I had Majid Ashmir with me here, but then he left. So when he was coming, I felt like I, I've got his replacement. And so far, it's working when you play when you play at centre back or you play in the team and you know right behind you at is there what language do you guys communicate in if you if one says to tell you something on the pitch? <laughs> we we speak Chi more most of the time, you know, because it's easier for us to okay. understand each other with, with Chi. Yeah. Um what what has been the toughest game you played this season? Do you remember? Uh I think uh none, not yet. Not I yet. haven't had like a really tough one here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are, you are, you are Maybe cruising. going forward, but not yet. <laughs> not yet. But normally, which, which are the big games you, you look forward to? Which are the games that St. Gallen are looking forward uh, to this season? Yeah, yeah. Games, games against the uh, young boys and Basel. They are like the biggest ones here. So. Yeah. yeah. But in terms of rivalry, which, 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 which club is the rival? Of Saint Gallen, perhaps in the same area. We we, we like Saint Gallen is the only top flight uh, team in, okay. in this city. So okay. yeah, but the past seasons, it's I think it has been with uh, young boys because you know, uh, two seasons ago we were like uh, all challenging for the league, and they were like we we, we build up this rivalry between us. So okay, okay. I guess you are dying hard. <laughs> Uh, to get to play some European games, you want to win this league and get to get to play some European games, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Mm. Okay, good. Let, let, let's just talk about your your national team football, and it, it was a bit of uh, sad news, you know, for you, I guess, in 2019. Do you remember what happened? Yeah, that's why I got injured. So, 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 can you can you tell me what happened? I know it's difficult, but can so, you tell me? Uh, it was uh, it was in uh, uh, one of the training sessions, and uh, you know, like uh, we were playing, I think eleven v eleven. So I went in a tackle, and my opponent fell on my like uh, my knee. So that's how that's how it happened. What was I feeling then? Uh, I said I was uh, I was disappointed because I felt like I was going to stay out for long by not playing football so i wasn't really like disappointed of not going to the afcon i was just uh, disappointed that i i i wasn't going to be able to play again for so long 
how difficult was the period in trying to to get back to normal football? How difficult was it? Yeah, it was difficult because it took uh, it took longer than we expected. It, uh, the doctors told me that it was going to take, uh, I think, eight months or something like that. But it ended up like being uh, taking uh, one and a half year before I was able to like you know start playing. So it was a lot for me by that at that time. And finally, you got the confidence to kick a ball. How was the feeling? <laughs> it was amazing. It was really amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So since you got back, since you got back, you've been playing for about what? Some one and a half years? Yeah, I think uh, yeah, one and a half year or like a year now. Because, uh, you know, I came back and uh, had some complications. So I had to like uh, stop for a bit yeah. and then come back again. So, yeah. But now you are back to full... Um, full fitness and everything, and you are doing you are doing your best. Do you, do you follow do you follow the Black Stars games? Do you follow Black Stars games? Yeah, I I have some friends who play the, like who are, who are on, who are in the team, so I always follow the games and watch all the games. Uh, so how nervous was it when you're watching that Ghana South Africa game, knowing that? Uh, <laughs> <when> it, <laughs> how, 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 how how nervous? Was yeah, I was I was a bit nervous because I felt like this was our only chance to like you know play in there like play in the World Cup. So if we were able to like jump this uh, hurdle, then it's it's possible for us in the playoffs. So you know, like uh, I was praying that we like we we could win that game. And, yeah, yeah, you know, we were able to. So mm. we're still we're still at the playoff stage anyway. We're waiting. For the opponent, Ghana is going to play. It could be Tunisia, it could be Senegal, it could be Nigeria, it could be Algeria. But uh, we have to get over the South Africa head on because at the moment the ability issue, uh, mm. right? <laughs> the ability issue right there. You know, the fact is very committee, <laughs> so we don't know whether there will be a replay or not. But we'll try and settle all of that and see how it goes. Obviously, but Ghana has qualified for the Africa Cup of Nations, and um, there's there's so much to come uh, from that angle. Are you are you looking forward to a Black Stars call up? Yeah, sure. Because I feel like uh, you know uh, I'm over my injury now, and I've started playing games, and yeah. So if uh, if I got the call up to play in the African Cup, it will be like it will be like be, be a great feeling. Yeah, and you've, you've you've looked at the team, you've looked at the players, you look at the positions. Um, you feel like you can contribute a lot to the team, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I can, I can, I can imagine, I can imagine uh, the kind of conversations that you have, especially when Atiziki goes to the Blasters and comes back. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah like we, we, yeah, we talk a lot about it. You know, like uh, we talk about how, like, you know, the way forward and everything. So we most times like discuss what uh, you know. It's something internal that we feel like, yeah, we. What do you think we can do to go forward, like going forward and everything? So, you know, like, it's we have a lot of conversation about it when we come back. That's right. That's right. Uh, so, are we away from football? Who is who is who is who is I mean, away from football, what do you do? Are you a good, are you a good, are you a good dancer? Are you a good swimmer? Are you, what, what do you do? <laughs> no, I'm just a cool person. You know, like I try to get along with everyone that I meet. You know, like make so everyone feel comfortable around me. Right. So you don't have like a, a hobby that you. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like I do, but uh, you know, uh, I have. I think uh, I like to uh, dance, oh. <laughs> but I'm not a good dancer, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And you know. Yeah. Then, then you have to take up some dancing lessons because yeah, yeah, Ziggy is a good dancer, so like sometimes I learn some moves from him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really good, really, really good, really, really good. Um, it's definitely so much as, as we are looking forward to what will be happening at a national team level and everything. But you know, for instance, Coach Milo Van Rijmat is back um, at the helm of affairs in the Black Stars. You, do you look forward to working with him? 
Yeah, sure. Uh, so he's the national team coach, and I'm like, uh, I want to play for the national team. So yeah. So this weekend, what's on? What's on this weekend in terms of your games? Uh, we have an away game uh, against Sion on Saturday. So we are like, we are still preparing for that game. Yeah, that should be a, an interesting one. How is the atmosphere like when you play in the Swiss League? What's the atmosphere like? Are they are they away venues so you know scary like what we know in Turkey and the likes? How how how's the feeling like? Yeah, like uh, there are like there are some venues which are like very scary. You know, like the fans are like really hard and they try to you know like uh, intimidate you on the field and everything. So, but you are built for that. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, I think uh, I don't let that get to me. So I, I always like mm. I'm always like focused on what's going on in the field, not outside, of, outside of it. So. Yeah, you you were with Wafa before you left uh, the Ghana Premier League. Uh, in your in your spare time, do you check out what's happening in the Ghana Premier League? Yeah, uh, I. Well, the standard is going up, and uh, you know the quality of the players and everything i feel like yeah it's really good it's really and, good uh, i watch yeah i watch some games from hustle folk and uh i really like how they played and everything mm. like the mm. previous that, that was the previous season the previous season yeah mm. yeah 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 okay yeah. nice now nice really and it's just english that you speak like in in, in switzerland it's just english or they got some local language there no they they speak uh german like deutsch okay and uh, Italian, French, yeah, these three languages. Yeah, I started learning French not so long ago, so I hope it also get better. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it will. Hopefully it will get better. I mean, uh, uh, um, Musa, we have to say a very big thank you for your time. You know, and sitting here, we're we're going to see what happens. You know, when the collapse are in. Obviously, once you keep on doing your good job, I'm sure. Uh, the coaches will be, will be looking in as well, and uh, if if they think you're good enough, they'll give you an opportunity to definitely come in. Um, just your final words to everyone, because I've I've seen your name come up in in some of the discussions. People say, "Oh, well, you want a centre back? You want a central defensive midfielder? That you have to go and check out, you know, Musa Nuo and what he's doing." What do you have to say to fans who are following you all the way from 2019 and are keeping their track on you? What do you have to tell them? Yeah, I just like a big thank you to them because, uh, yeah, like they are also like uh, one source of motivation for me because, you know, like don't like you don't ever want to let your fans down and uh, they are like uh, a source of motivation motivation for me because I always feel like yeah, I have to do more for them to be happy, you know, that's so I would say a big thank you to them. Excellent, excellent. And I like that. I like your, I was telling you about your um what should i call it is it is it, is it your dp or is my it, my whatsapp status your whatsapp status yes i mean your whatsapp status says um don't complain just train so yeah i don't complain wh- where did you learn that where did you learn that <laughs> <laughs> you know it's, it's it's funny because i it's i this was when i was in ghana it has been on it has been on there for like more than four years oh I <laughs> yeah because i i was i i think i was walking around in the city, like in Kumasi, and I saw a person with a t-shirt and it was written at the back of it. So I, you know, like, I loved it. So I took it and wrote it to my WhatsApp status. <laughs> Don't complain, just train. Whether the coach yeah. likes you, and I, and I, I see a lot of wisdom in that. Whether the coach likes you, whether the coach doesn't like you, whether you're getting a chance to play, whether you just don't complain, go ahead and train. <laughs> yeah, okay. exactly. I, I, think, I think I'm going to borrow it. I'm going to borrow it. I mean, <laughs> you have to. It's really don't good. complain. Yeah, it's really, good. <laughs> really, really good. Really good. Um, so we wish you the very best of luck in the game, uh, your upcoming against Sion. And uh, we're also obviously keeping tabs on what you do as well. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much for having me.